things that you need to know about our returning contestant, Sean Cox. He's an actor. He's from New York City. He's here on Millionaire because he came and sat in the audience last week and aced the test. And he has a pathological fear of clowns, strippers, and drag queens. <laughs> now, I, I am actually two of those. Do you know which oh. two? I don't know. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's good to find out. Yeah. I, what, 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 how do you know? I mean, I what happened? I have no idea. I mean, because I don't like Halloween, so I thought maybe that, that kind of factors in somehow. Um, so if but, you run into a stripper or a drag queen or a clown, what happens to you? Uncomfortable. Just kind of like, mm, just, just... You kinda, back off. About, oh, yeah. You tell off. them, yeah, back yeah. off? No, I'm not mean to them. You know, no. just kind of go, yeah. oh, got to go. See you, bye. You know? Okay, well, <laughs> okay, good. Doesn't have that often, thank right, God. Right, <laughs> Okay, well, listen, you're comfortable here? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. you should be because you're just seven questions away from a million dollars. All right. You still have a lifeline left to help you, the 50-50. Okay, and I have a check right here. From Capital One, a million dollars, it's in your name. Would you like it? Please. That, that. Oh. <laughs> you gotta win. You ready to play? Yes. Audience ready? <laughs> All right, let's play Millionaire. For $16,000, Sean. In 1960, John Kennedy's social vision for the country was popularly known as the new what? Awakening? Frontier, Camelot, Republic. I've got to go 50-50. No problem. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Let's do, um... Oh, well. What the heck. Um, the Frontier, final answer. Keep looking at me like I'm a drag queen or something. Don't be scared. You got it right for 16000 oh Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get this next one right. You can't leave with less than 32000 That'd be good. The 2002 film, The Pianist or The Pianist, tells the true story of a man's attempt to survive the Nazi occupation of what city? Prague. Paris, Warsaw, Brussels. You're an actor. You I am an actor, movies. but I did not see the movie. Ah, oh, okay. I hate that. <laughs> um, so it would be a complete and utter guess. Um, I think I can narrow it down to two, but that really doesn't help me because I have no lifelines. Which two have you narrowed it down to out of curiosity? Um, Warsaw and Prague. Oh. I hate that, but I need to walk. Is that a final? Yes. Final answer. Okay, Sean, I don't blame you. $16,000 is a lot of money. It's what it looks like. You know what the answer is? The answer was one of the ones you thought, Walter. Yeah, but but, yeah. Hey, you could have said frog in the end. is a lot more than Sean came with. Now joining us to play for the million is Holly Oak. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Nice Hi. to meet you. Have a seat. Well, so far I can tell you're not nervous because I heard you have a little habit when you are nervous. <laughs> yes, I do. I play with my hair. I twirl it. It's really bad. Okay. People that I work with told me, don't go on there and play with your hair. So You do whatever you need to do all to right. calm yourself down, all right? You know the but rules? But if it's bad, you tell me. I will. All you right. know the lifelines? I do. I'll twirl with you. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, let's play. <laughs> For $100, Holly. According to an old saying, laughter is the best what? Medicine, keepsake, reward, diuretic. The answer is A, medicine. <laughs> yep, you got it for $100. Go for 200 Which of these brands makes pet food for dogs? Whiskas, Fancy Feast, Alpo, Tender Vittles. Um, you know what? Be safe. I think I'm going to pull the audience. Okay. Audience, Holly needs your help. If you are ready, vote now. Ninety-five percent think it's Alpo. All right. I well, don't want you to go out on a limb. Right, but right. 
That was my guess, but you never can be too no, sure. No, absolutely no. It's, so. They've been wrong. They've been known to be wrong. <laughs> so I will say C, final answer. Unbelievable, <laughs> but they're right. You got it for 200 For $300. Gambling Haven, Las Vegas, Nevada, is commonly known by what nickname? Lux City, Bright City, Sin City. Uh, the answer is D, Sin City. Yep, for three hundred dollars, you got it. Going for five hundred. The Japanese word sayonara means what in English? How are you? Goodbye. Hello. I love you. Uh, B, goodbye. Hello, you got it right. $1,000. The ESPY Awards were introduced in 1993 to recognize achievement in what field? Publishing, science, sports, fashion. Uh, C, sports. Holly, you don't have to twirl your hair. You got $1,000 just like that. They're actually created by ESPN, the ESPY Awards. You're doing great. Going for 2000 here. What actress portrays lifestyle guru Martha Stewart in the 2003 TV movie Martha, Inc.? Sybil Shepard, Blythe Danner, Edie Falco, Bonnie Hunt. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure, that it's Sybil Shepard. So I will make that my final answer. She was great in it, too. <laughs> you got it for $2,000. Go for 4,000. Famous former POW Jessica Lynch is from what U.S. state? Michigan, West Virginia, Texas, Wisconsin. Um, I believe it is West Virginia. So I will say B, West Virginia. Final? Yes. There you go again, $4,000. Jersey. Holly, I understand you bought a new outfit for the I show. I did. I bought a new sweater for the show. And it's beautiful. I love that Thank pink you. kind of... But your husband wasn't happy about well, it. Well, he told me I had enough clothes in my wardrobe that I didn't need to buy anything new to come to the oh, show. Oh, I see. Oh, but has he made any plans for your money that you're making? He has. Uh -huh. He has. He's bought himself a car, a bigger <laughs> house, so... I think I could get away with one sweater. Yeah, and it looks very nice well, on you, too. You. And you brought your mom, Marianne, is I in the did. audience. I did. How are you doing, Mom? Good. <laughs> She always been this smart? Yes. She is. Very bright. She's very bright. She's got 4,000, going for 8,000. Two lifelines left. You had, haven't had to twirl your hair no. at all yet, so you're no, not nervous. Right. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's fly. $8,000 here, Holly. Sweet Baby James is the title of what musician's breakthrough album? Jimmy Buffett, James Brown, James Taylor, Jimi Hendrix, Sweet Baby Jane. Well, I know that James Taylor sings the song, so I'm going to say that it's probably on his breakthrough album. So I will say C, James Taylor. Final? Final answer. I was a teenager when that came out. I used to play it over and over and fantasize. You got it right. I was in love with him. 16,000. The individual cells of a honeycomb are what geometric shape? Triangular, square, octagonal, hexagonal. Um, well, I'm fairly certain it's either C or D, so. Honeycomb. Um, but I'm not sure. So, I would like to use my lifeline. Sure. I would like to use my 50-50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Oh, well, that makes it easier. Then I will say D, hexagonal. Final? Final answer. And I will say you have $16,000. <laughs> Your mom's very excited. <laughs> Going for $32,000 here. In the 1994 movie Forrest Gump, Forrest makes millions of dollars by investing in what company? Apple Computers, Nike, McDonald's, Microsoft. 
You know, I hate to say this, but I never saw this room in. Oh, no. It's good. But I think I will use my last light. Okay. Line. And I would like to call my friend Nick. Nick. He's big into movies. Okay, we're gonna get Nick on the line. Nick Pryor. Hey, Nick. Meredith Vieira. Hi. Hi. You know who I'm sitting with? Yes, I do. Holly, and you know how much she's up to? No. Sixteen thousand dollars. Oh, she she just won sixteen, or she's about to? She just won. She wants to win thirty-two thousand, which is where you come in, okay? Great. Okay, Holly, you have thirty seconds, and your time starts now. Hi, Nick. Hi. In the 1994 movie Forrest Gump, Forrest makes millions of millions of dollars by investing in what company? Apple Computers, Nike, McDonald's, or Microsoft? Apple Computer. Are you sure? 100%. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, okay, I'll see you later, Holly. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, he said 100%, so I'm going to go with Apple Computers. I bet he was Apple glad computers. that you bought the sweater. He, I think he probably was. Yeah. Are you going to go Apple. with Apple Computers? Yes. Final, Final answer. What a good friend. You got it right for 32 minutes. Okay, Holly, all the lifelines are gone. Okay. Going for $64,000. Okay. What prolific author has written over 40 books, including eight mysteries under the name Rosamund Smith? Barbara Kingsolver, Joyce Carol Oates, Margaret Atwood, Ann Tyler. <laughs> I have no idea, but it's a free guess. Absolutely. So. Take care. Hmm. Do you know any of those authors? I do. I know them all. Okay. Um, and I was going to say Barbara Kingsolver as soon as it came up. So my mother always told me to go with my first instinct. So since it's a free guess, I'm going to guess A, Barbara Kingsolver. Final answer. I'm sorry it's not. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Let's keep it moving with Pamela Matthews. Come on out here, Pam. Hi, nice to meet you. All right. You ready to play? You know the rules and lifelines? I do. You look great. Thank you. Okay, let's play. Going for $100. On a standard automotive gear shift, what does the letter R stand for? Run, reverse, revolve, are we there yet? I, I think that's B, reverse. Yeah, I hope so. You got it for $100. Go for 200 The expression Sunday best usually refers to a person's nicest what? Handwriting, furniture, silverware, clothing. That would be D, clothing. Yep, for $200. Go for 300 According to its classic slogan, raid kills what dead? Grease, weeds, Bugs, mildew. Definitely C, bugs. I've used a lot of it. You got it right for $300. Going for $500 here. Hydrogen peroxide is commonly applied to hair to do what to it? Moisturize it, curl it, straighten it, bleach it. Well, we need a lot to do this to my hair. It's D, bleach it. You wouldn't need a lot for you. You got it for $500. Going for $1,000 now, Pam. You get this right, you can't leave it less than $1,000. Name for the Pennsylvania town of Conestoga. A stogie is an inexpensive type of what? Suit, wristwatch, cigar, automobile. C, cigar, final answer. You got yourself $1,000. All right, Pamela, that's $1,000. Don't get $2,000. back for a few minutes and Pamela Matthews already has a Capital One check worth a thousand dollars. Pretty easy. Yeah. Not so too bad. So far, not too bad? Not too bad. Now, I know with some of the money you want to buy a whole new wardrobe. Yes. Why I, would you do that? Your clothes are gorgeous. I just recently lost 30 pounds and I have 30 a, pounds? a closet full of clothes. That so <laughs> wow. Yeah. You could sweat 30 pounds on this show, actually, Absolutely. as you get up to the harder questions. So far, so good. thousand yep. dollars. All three lifelines are still there. Are you ready to go I'm for more? I'm ready to go. All right. Let's play. <laughs>
classic children's book character lives with 11 girls in Paris in the care of Miss Clavel. Pollyanna, Madeline, Heidi, Eloise. Well, my nieces would be very upset with me if I got this question wrong. It's uh, B, Madeline. Final? Final answer. It certainly is. She got it for 2000 $4,000 here, Pamela. In 2003, the cable channel TNN was taken to court when it tried to change its name to what? Spike TV, Rocky TV, Cruise TV, Woody TV. Um, the answer is A, Spike TV. Final answer. I'm not even going to mess with you. You know it. You got it right for 4000 <laughs> Going for 8,000 here. On Wall Street, the opening bell of the New York Stock Exchange rings at what time in the morning? 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10. The opening bell. You know, I should know this, and I have an idea, but um, I think I'd like to ask the audience on this one. Okay, audience, Pamela needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Sixty-two percent believe it is nine in the morning. Next closest is 930 with 22 percent. 830 at 10 and six percent thinks it. Thinks yeah, it's 10 I yeah. suspected that it was B, nine. You thought it was nine? As well? I did, yeah, so that's going to be my final answer. Oh my gosh, no, it's not nine. 930. Oh boy. Well, it's an audience in New York that's not up there. there. Gorgeous outfit. So nice to meet you. Take care. And this is an audience of New Yorkers. When we return, Jim Cronin will sit in our hot seat. If you'd like to be in our audience, just log on to our website or give us a call. Audience members are welcome to take the audition test. Now more than ever, come be a part of Millionaire. He is proud to admit that everything he's learned, he learned in a bar? Well, strange but true. That's really? quite a, yeah. Yeah, basically a family-owned and operated bar and grill in Astoria, Queens, and Broadway and Steinway. Yeah. We love Queens, right, folks? Absolutely. We love Queens. All right, kid, let's test the knowledge. You know the rules, you know the lifelines, you're ready to play? Sure. Let's play. Well, 400. On Halloween, children traditionally ring their neighbor's doorbells and say, trick or what? Gift, treat, present, unmarked bills. <laughs> uh, that'll be B, treat. That's my final answer. Yeah, you got it right for $100. <laughs> Call for 200 here, Jim. A baby with wealthy parents is said to be born with what type of spoon in his mouth? Gold, ivory, silver, diamond. That would be C, a silver spoon in their mouth. Final answer. Yes, again, for $200. Going for $300. The number 411 is commonly used as a slang term for what? Information, marriage, luck, money. That would be A, information. Final answer. Once again, you got it for $300. Going for $500. In a famous scene from the movie Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio's character shouts, I'm the what? Apple of her eye, king of the world, last man standing, top of the heap. Well, it might feel like C. The answer is B, king of the world, final answer. And you are right now. You got it for $500. <laughs> Going for 1000 The word posturepedic was coined in 1950 by what company? Sealy, Lazy Boy, Simmons, Nordic Track. I believe the answer is A. Sealy, the Sealy Posturepedic. Final answer. I'm going to your bar. You yeah. got it for $1,000. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop it. You know what that means. It means we've got to go. Perkyman had a heart attack here. But we'll be back tomorrow, and we hope you will too. From New York, everyone. Bye bye. Closed captioning sponsored by...